Remember our old problem, we wanted to find out solutions of A x equal to B and B equal to 0 is in some sense the simplest case, this is talking about the kernel of A. So, the first question is what does this look like and actually uh, this question is very easy to answer. When will the solution set? When I say this, I mean let us say S is my set of feasible points in this uh, constraint system. When will S be empty? Okay, uh, non trivially empty. Good. So, it is never empty because 0 is always there, but when is it, when is it non trivial empty? When rank of A is n. Now, because of whatever we have discussed, there are multiple ways to say it. We can say that columns are linearly independent or n rows are linearly independent, okay. because S being empty means kernel is phi. Uh, with 0, right. So, the dimension of that subspace is 0. That means, this, the uh, size of the images or dimension of the image is n. Dimension of the image being n means rank of A is. So, great. There are two cases, uh, I should say non singular first here. This is when columns of A are linear. Other cases singular where kernel of A has some dimension, let us say k. But how do we find these solutions? So, we have we have to describe a vector space whose dimension is k. So, we want to find a basis which has k elements. How? How do I describe this vector space? The answer is Gaussian elimination. <laughs> See, uh, it is a good idea to believe your instructor, right. When I said Gaussian elimination is answer to everything, and that is why we like Gauss so much, no. These are fundamental things. So, do people know what Gaussian elimination is? Yes, no. Okay, so probably once I describe it, then you know. Okay, so how do you solve this bunch of linear equations? Multiply so that one of the coefficient goes away, right? seen linear algebra, you have these, how many rows are there? M, right. We can replace a row by R 1 plus alpha j r j or something, right. So, any R i can be replaced by correct. You remember this operation? and you can 
does this remind you people have seen this right linear algebra course we do this this is Gaussian elimination this is the simple strategy which we will apply here kind of try to remove one variable at a time right. So, once you have this operations allowed right why are these operations allowed because they do not change linear independence right this is why this is allowed and without changing the image when we do this changes what we can do is make the matrix look like a diagonal matrix when is a x equal to b easy to solve when a is diagonal. So, all these attempts are trying to make this matrix look like a diagonal matrix right this is what you were doing even here. So, what do you do suppose there, ha there, there has to be a, a, a row whose first entry is non zero if it is not then I can forget about the first column. So, get this at the first place use that to make all the entries below 0. Now, look at the remaining rows there has to be a place where the second entry is non zero. Okay. If it is only in R 1 then we can move the column here or something, but uh, yeah otherwise take this and then make everything 0 here. So, that there is only one thing for pi right. Uh, does this remind you of uh, Gaussian elimination something which you all of all of you have done right. So, when you do all this and even if uh, uh, if I allow you to you know rename your col columns right uh, well, renaming column means switching the columns then your matrix gets into this nice form this is 1 0 0 0 everything below here is 0 there can be some entries here which I do not know right. So, this is called the yeah reduced row equivalent form seems like a distant memory when you studied this and passed the course right <laughs> welcome back these things were useful that is why they were you studied them right. So, you can you can do this, but once you do this your life is set now you can solve linear equations why. So, let us worry about a x equal to 0 that is the simplest case we divide our variables into two sets these are called the leading variables or the awesome variables okay and these are called the free variables okay why are they free we don't care about them you can do whatever with them and still i will have a solution right so now why why is that true because if you look at a x equal to 0 what is the first equation it is saying x 1 plus something in free variables what is the second equation it is saying x 2 plus something in free variables right. So, then you can set uh, so, actually yes whatever value you set for the free variables this will give me some value of x 1 x 2 up to x n minus k. So, that I get a x equal to 0. So, what is the number of free variables k this is the dimension of my curve right. sounds okay. So, all this uh, was to make sure 
that we can solve A x equal to 0. Do we have any questions on this up to A x equal to 0? Right? And then, yeah, actually, it, it's, it, it does not take a much bigger leap to solve A x equal to 2. Right? Because now, okay. but then if you kind of think deeply about it, there are again going to be two cases. or probably 3 right so uh, two cases one is right simple uh, this partitions everything uh, so if B is not an element of image of M, then no solution. Okay. That basically means that, uh, sorry, yeah, there will be a some kind of a contradiction, right. So, now, but when B is element of image of M, there are two ways. One is when rank of M is N, right? Then what do I know? The columns of A are linearly independent. That means there is a unique solution. case we are left with is and kernel of M has some dimension k, right. Then what are the all possible solutions? And here we can take help from A x equal to 0. How? If X is a solution for A X equal to B and Y is a solution for A Y equal to 0, then X plus Y A let us say. Do I need to prove this? Fine, right? If, if A x equal to B and A y equal to 0, A of x plus y is also equal to B, right? And on the other side, if A x 1 equal to B and A x 2 equal to B implies sorry. That means now we have a very very nice description of the solution set. Find one solution of uh, A x equal to B and then Right. Given this, now it is very easy to describe all solutions of A x equal to B 
you pick a one solution you pick one solution and then all solutions of ax equal to 0 are going to be there okay and how do i how do you pick one solution again set the free variables they will allow me to write something about the x1 to x minus k okay so uh, what we were to summarize what we were able to do today was uh, we were able to look at a x equal to b as linear combination of columns find out these properties and that allowed us to have a nice description of solutions of a x equal to 0 and solutions of a x equal to b. We know these are subspaces, we know their dimensions, we know the relation between these dimensions. Right? Now, with this we will start exploring linear programming from the next lecture. Thank you.